Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to enable remote connections for PostgreSQL Server which is installed in Windows operating system. As of now, by default, whenever you install SQL Server, from which user you install SQL Server, using that user only, uh, by default it could be Postgres, using that you can able to connect. For remote, uh, for the local user also, you are unable to connect. Now you need to edit, do something. Now, right as of now, this is my, if I go here, I, in Windows, I have two windows. In this main laptop windows, which is having this IP address, and this is the host name. This is VMware 10 Windows OS and this is the IP address and this is the host name. If I try to connect from main laptop to the uh, like VMware Windows or to the Postgres SQL Server. Now if you see here like when, uh, like uh, 106 user Postgres no, no, no HBI entry for the host. Okay. As of now if you see here SQL Server is as well running in that. Now, what I will do here, now go to SQL Server installation directory, which is in by default, this one Postgres, uh, this one bin directory, sorry, data directory. Now here, we are have, by default, all these files I have opened with the notepad. So that's the reason it will be showing like that by default it, in your case it might be different okay now if you want to enable remote connections first go to the postgres sql server now you need to uncomment it this line okay by default in 16 version it is un, uh, like um, uncommented only in your case it will be commented remove this comment here in the star place it could be local host now you have to make it star as of now it is star only if you see that by default it will local host use star for all okay now i'm just closing this before making any change for of any files you just have one more copy in the safe location so if anything goes wrong we can replace with those files now you can come to uh, post uh, pz underscore hb file hbm stands for host based authentication now click on that now come this here and copy this line come here and paste it host means remote for all databases you has to connect if any specific databases you have to mention here and here all users that you need to connect this is the loopback address i need to change like 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 forward slash 0 okay and now now what i need to do here is md5 md5 means password should be mandatory for windows in in linux it could be you have to mention this thing okay now click save here now close this and you need to allow port as well firewall dot cpl or if you have any other firewall or physical firewall you can just add here and come here and you need to add inbound rules and outbound rules as well 505432 firewall okay so as of now i have disabled the firewall so that's the reason this step is not mandatory for you i will show you how to enable that program port next tcp port like 5432 allow this connection remove the same so you need to select all the fire domain firewalls next allow postgres port next next finish you need to do the same thing for outbound rules as well okay now I am closing this window and meanwhile I have a I have a communication to the um, to the VMware window Windows 10 operating system and vice versa from 1 to 2 I have communication and 2 to 1 also I am having proper communication now uh, you need to restart the SQL, Postgres SQL server so whatever you changes you do in Linux, you have to do the reload, but for Windows, we have to restart. 
now come here now you can try to connect to the same i didn't mention anything like okay just save see i am able to connect to the uh, postgres sql server which is installed in vmware 10 operating system this means we have successfully enabled remote connections to the postgres sql server who had having proper username and password to that sql server can connect from 32 from whole internet okay and proper communication who are having i hope you may like this video thank you bye